What's up, chat? How you doing? Welcome to another day. Welcome to another stream. So this came across my desk last night. I was uh, working on the site, and I was browsing YouTube for some music and stuff, and this popped up. You can see how sensitive the thing is still there. Tron and Gom. Um, yeah, and this was actually really... I watched it. It was actually really cool. I want to give them a big shout-out. I want them to get more views. Uh, this was posted four days ago. 37,000 views. It's a relatively small channel, so you can see it's just organically popping off already. Uh, I left a comment last night. It was amazing. Please continue 13 hours ago. So let, I want to go ahead and watch this with you guys because it was actually really well done. And I feel like he's going to make this into a series. So let's go ahead. Hold on. I'm going to get that out of the way. Okay. So if you haven't read the Darth Plagueis book, it is my favorite Star Wars book of all time. It is so well done. And this is the beginning of the book. This is like how Plagueis essentially kills his master and how it, 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 the story really begins. So um, he's done that. Let's go ahead and watch it. I've also linked it down in the, the description of this video. So if you guys want to check it out, go ahead and do that as well. Uh, show support to the original video. So, yeah, let's begin. Leave a like on this one. Three, two, one. Wait, sorry. I had my music bumping through my speakers and not my... There we go. Already started. There we go. Try to get this in. Darth Bane would appreciate our efforts. Darth Bane's early years, carrying on the ancestral business, as it were. Bane's seminal years. What more appropriate way for us to close the circle than by mimicking the Sidari's seminal efforts? We weave ourselves into the warp and weft of the tapestry he created. Based on the data I am receiving, 82% of the ore is capable of being purified into weapons-grade Cortosis shield. The percentage is consistent with what I was told to expect. By whom, Master? Of no consequence. Can you not share your plans for this discovery? In due time, Darth Plagueis. Instruct the probe to evaluate the properties of the secondary load. The probe is running an analysis. Has it stopped? The M2 unit informs me that it has discovered a pocket of gas directly beneath the new borehole. I'm sorry to report, sirs, that the gas is a highly combustible variant of lethane. The M2 unit predicts that the heat generated by its hydraulic jacks will ignite an explosion of significant magnitude. The original report made no mention of lethane. I know nothing of that, sir. But the M2 unit is quite insistent. What's more, my own programming corroborates the fact that it is not unusual to find pockets of lethane in close proximity to Cortosis ore. Query the probe about excavating around the lethane pocket. The M2 unit recommends employing... Bro, freaking Plagueis is just masterminding the whole thing. No wonder he was uh, Palpatine's master. They, I, I swear, bro. They need to make the Plagueis book into a show and get the directors or the writers of uh, Hot D or whatever and, and just... That'd be so cool. That very strategy, sir. Shall I order it to proceed? Task the probe to proceed. Tell the probe to stop. Why are you interfering? The map indicates a more massive concentration of lethane in the area where it's drilling. You're correct, sir. 
I will order the unit to halt all activity. Droid? Did the probe acknowledge your order? No, sir. The M2 is not responding. Is it still within range? Yes, sir. Then run a communications diagnostic. I have, sir. And all systems are nominal. The unit's inability to respond... The unit's refusal to respond appears to be deliberate. Deactivate it. The M2 unit has overridden my command. Impossible. Clearly not, sir. In fact, it is highly probable that the unit is executing a deep-seated subroutine that escaped earlier notice. Who procured the probe? This isn't the time for questions. Bro is just playing the whole thing. Who did this? Like, you did. God damn it. You know, I didn't understand why couldn't they just use the force to, like, dis dismantle the, the droid. Or destroy it. Or something. If he does the whole book, I will cry tears of joy. I think that he's, that's what he's trying to do. The probe is enough to breach the pocket. It's the ore. There's too much resistance here. I'll go down. This can wait. We're returning to the grotto. As you say, Master. Continue your attempts to deactivate the unit. I will, sir. To do that, however, I will need to remain here. What of it? Should I fail in my efforts, the ensuing explosion will surely result in my destruction. You've been useful, droid. Thank you, sir. You waste your breath. Master, allow me to lead. Be mindful of your grace. Cough. Did you notice that one? You're going to need I know, the voice work is amazing. I hope this guy reaches out to me and maybe I could do something. That'd be really cool. Oh, your to strength. Play. I can bring help. There's time. I'm dying, Darth Plebis. There's time only for that. I did all that I could, Master. To be strong in the Force is one thing. But to believe oneself to be all-powerful is to invite catastrophe. Remember, that even in the ethereal realm we inhabit, the unforeseen can occur. Better this way, perhaps, than to perish at your hand. As Darth Bane would have wished. Who supplied the mining probe master? Subtext. Subtext mining? I will avenge you. Will you? Of course. You are fated to bring the Sith's imperative to fruition, Plagueis. It falls to you to bring the Jedi Order to its knees and to save the rest of the galaxy's sentience from themselves. At long last, the mantle is conferred. But I need to warn you. Warn me about what, Master? You... Yes, Master. Your death comes at my bidding. You said yourself that perpetuation with purpose is the way to victory, and so it is. Go to your grave knowing that you are last of the old order, the vaunted rule of two, and that the new order begins now, and will for a thousand years remain in my control. And for the last time, I call you Apprentice. Wait, hold on. This is from the audiobook, isn't it? Wait a sec. Wait a sec. Ooh, that's going to be a problem. If he 
yeah. If he takes okay, yo, um Everest Productions, if you're watching this, bro. If you're gonna use yeah, they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna shut you down. You can't use um uh, stuff from the audiobook. If it is, because I, I can't remember exactly what they sounded like, but it sounds exactly like the audiobook now that I'm reminiscing. Um Yeah, you can't use their you can't use their their stuff. Unless there's no ads on this. I don't know. I have YouTube Premium, so I don't know if there's ads. But, uh, y yeah. That's the only thing I'd worry. I'd be cautious of. It is, right? Yeah. So, he, you gotta do all original voices. Or, yeah. Just, uh, yeah. That's my only word of caution, bro. And I applaud your skillful use of surprise and misdirection. Perhaps I was wrong to think you had no stomach for it. The dark side guided me, Tenebris. You sensed it, but your lack of faith in me clouded your thoughts. Even before we came to Bordemnik. And yet we came. Because we were fated to. You've risked everything to undo me. The entire future of the Sith. My instincts about you prove correct after all. I'll find a way home, Tenebris. As will you. Damn. The plagiarism. Darth plagiarism. Darth plagiarism the unwise. <laughs> Master, you have plagiarized for the last time. Soon I will have a new copywriter, one for plagiarism <laughs> than the last. Oh, jeez. Yeah, that was awesome. Yeah. My only concern, bro. Um. Oh, did you guys ever see this? The tragedy of Darth Plagueis stop motion? This is amazing. Look at this, look at this, look at look, look at this. Seven the seven year comment. To the creator of this video, would you be okay with me taking this video as is and doing all the voices then uploading on my channel? Full shout out to you. Oh, that's what I wanted to do. Oh, he never liked it. Daft it, baby. Um Were there no voices in this? Oh, yeah. Hey, yo, we could do it right now, live. Hey, spam one if you want me to do it live right now. That'd be cool. Kind of a... paying homage to my uh, seven-year-old, seven-and-a-half-year-old comment. Can you believe this channel has been around for almost ten years? Almost a decade. Almost a freaking decade, and I owe it to you guys. It's pretty wild. My goal is to complete episode two and three before the 10 year mark. I mean, episode two is coming out next year, probably less than a year away. Uh, and then episode three, just a year after. So I think we'll, we'll do it all within, within that mark. Episode three probably will come out at the nine year mark. Yeah, anyways. Um, okay, yo, let's do it. Alright, it might be a little bit cringe because you're going to see my face, but whatever, man. Let's get into it. The Queen of Adala is coming on Naboo with the Jedi that you met on Tatooine and his other one. The Master Jedi must not survive. Kill him. Too fast. You will confront those Jedi. You have been well trained. This is the best way. Yes, Master. Okay, it's moving too fast. I forgot what's going on here. The 
boy. Are we undone? Have you undone us? Oh, damn, you see the Vader. On the Boonti Eve. The axe of the boar. More must destroy Quagum. Palpatine is elected to the post of Supreme Chancellor. Thanks. That's my first arc. I, goddamn, I got a pause every time to do this. As my first act, I will make a priority to end the invasion of Naboo. It's super hard doing Palpatine. Sidious is easy for me, but Palpatine is... Once this crisis ended, I will lay down the corruption in the Senate. Succeeded, Darth Plagueis. Bro, they need to make this a movie, I'm telling you. Billion dollar movie right here. I propose a toast to the culmination of the plan. And to the new meaning that we'll give. Oh shoot, time is spent. Damn. Drink it up. to steal your girl. <laughs> What's with his horns, man? Look at his horns. <laughs> Those are some big horns, bro. Damn. All right.
See you, chumps. See you, chumps. The Jedi Order is no longer a place of peace. The Force have all become pawns. I will now go join the new Sith Lord. <laughs> the galaxy is now mine. I bet your plague is still alive. Thank you for accepting my invitation. Eh? Nice, good, great job, Samuel. Sweet. Hadn't watched that in years. Wild. <laughs> Palpatine has been elected as Grand Chancellor. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Oh. Stop motion is pretty cool. Does this guy ever make any other videos? Mm, well, six years ago, Star Wars Son of Darkness. Oh, never saw these. take I used to make stop motion when I was a kid with Lego and those would take a while but the end product is so fulfilling it's so cool would you guys rather get a son of Dathomir animated or a Plagueis. Ah, that's a stupid question, I think. Okay, Darth Bane trilogy created into a movie, to a trilogy, or Darth Plagueis movie? Type B for Bane, P for Plagueis. What is this? Are we like discovering a whole new? Th like, I, I haven't looked at stop motion Star Wars stuff. To attack of the shadows. Yeah, what's in play? Is too full. Okay, go go do the pull right now. Gifted even yet simply and only pawn. It's 
time will soon come to when the new Skywalker will be turned into the prophet's chosen one. <laughs> Skywalker and yet a cyborg. Oh, he will indeed be strong in the dark side of the force, selfish, foolish Plagueis. <laughs> How much he could have accomplished in breaching this vision. <laughs> there must be prayer. Prepare my ship. We are in need of precious metal to Mustafa. All right, team. These doors are holding precious cargo. We gotta make sure it stays guarded. Guard it with your entire life. And Bo sounding you a little low. Uh, he got you. Testarossa. a long time ago. Jeez. It looked like a little baby. Look like a child. It looks like a child, bro. What the heck? Oh. I'm looking at my young brother. What was this? July 18th. That was like five years ago. Crazy. Hey, do you guys, do you guys uh, miss when I had Oh my god. Super chats back in those days were insane. You guys uh, miss when I used to have this pop up with super, whenever you guys would send a super chat? It would be Qui Gon bowing. I can get that back. I just thought it would be like kind of annoying to watch and stuff. But... Oh. <sighs> There was one that was made, it was... It was a animation of Dark Empire. It was really good. It was like just a few. This one. Bro, this is crazy. Quality on this one isn't good. Are you sure? So sick, bro. 
Ah, oh, what the? <laughs> I always get invested and then it ends. Cool. Never seen this. Alright, we don't need the stream to lock. Realizing the Emperor can only transfer his consciousness to a living body, oh, cool. Luke lunges for- Hey, so by the way, I'm recreating Dark Empire in uh, Deepfake. Uh, so it's it's going to be quite amazing. And we're almost done. The first episode is almost done. Um... Trying to bring up some photos. Yeah, so like here's a picture of one of the scenes. It's going to look really good. Here's a picture of another one of the scenes. Been working on it for months. Mutants. And there's a picture of Palps. Back from the dead. This will be like a rendition of the real sequel trilogy. We're also thinking of doing deep fake for my fan film. Which would be pretty cool. I don't know what you guys think. It's not focusing, I don't know why. That'd be cool. See, that was the original. Shout out to Steve Bartlett. But then, you know, we could always put Palpatine's face. So it's like a fun project. Um, yeah. Some super chats. Hot damn surprise theory live stream. Let's get nuts. Y'all, how's your day going? Shout out to nuts, dude. Got some nuts right here. Some assorted newts. Very good for you. What's up, theory? If they made Plagueis into a movie, I think Michael Fassbender would make a great young Palpatine. He's too old. Fashbender's too old to play young Palpatine. What's up, Tyler? What's up, Lucas? Darth Plagueis, this is our galaxy. Sidious, watch it. What's up, Obligation? What's up, Rossi? This makes me want to watch Robot Chicken. What? I think Vader kills Omega. She's a kid. What up, Jay Kane? How you doing, bro? Back to the memberships. What's up, Trent? I love Plagueis. My favorite is Stover's episode three. Yeah, that's pretty good. You can't beat it. In the Tenebris Brid, that there are many inconsistencies with the novel. For instance, both Sith with used force lightning to destroy the probe, but there was too much interference due to the ore. Yeah, but I feel like they could have still destroyed it. Why did Plagueis allow Palpatine to become Chancellor when it allows Palpatine to become a higher power than his master? Because Palpatine was the one that was leading the Senate, and Plagueis was the mastermind behind all of it, pulling the strings. Like, Plagueis was around during the Phantom Menace. He was just, no one saw him. He was just in the shadows. Like a good Sith. But. Of course he did have meetings with Qui-Gon. With Dooku. 
long time fi fan, finally part of the club. What up, dude? Thanks, bro. Sean Gotti. Watch the Heir to the Empire anime trailer. Heir to the Empire anime trailer. This? That place is strong with the dark side of the horse. Then you must go. Can your sabers be shipped to Norway? Yep. We're launching. I mean, it's we we still got some things to do, but we're very close. This weekend is what we're hoping. So, stay tuned, man. About to get wild. This is this is this is me with theory sabers right now. I'm like the arrow. I'm just pulling back. Pulling, 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 pulling. pulling. Once we're ready to release, which is like days away. <laughs> it's the quiet before the storm. We're coming. And we're going to make a big bang. So are they going to do the whole thing or are they? No, oh, it's just a trailer. Hmm. Did you guys ever see this? It's pretty cool. Or to be more precise, the only defense they are psychologically capable of attempting. I think we should sit down one day and just watch this whole thing. It's like two hours long. A throne that actually looks menacing. Yay, more women strong am the victim stuff. Bro, Mara Jade is anything but playing the victim. Plus, that was made in 1990. Mara Jade is probably the baddest female Star Wars character in Legends. In canon, I still think Asajj is pretty up there. Mara Jade is pretty close. I mean, yeah, you know what? Mara Jade might even be better. Might even be more badass than Asajj. I think about it. But they're both they're both really cool. Um, that'd actually be a really cool video to make. Like who beats who? Um, yeah, no. So Mara Jade hated Luke because her whole life was being in service to the Emperor. And so when Luke killed the Emperor, so she thinks, so the galaxy thinks. They don't know that Vader actually did it. She like vows to kill him. And make him suffer. So. Yeah. But she was called the Emperor's Hand. Legend character should stay in that territory. Yeah. Say so you were put into a position of creating Star Wars projects for Disney. What would you make? Yeah. If I was put into the position to make whatever I wanted at Disney for Star Wars, the first thing I would do is I would fix Luke Skywalker. And that's by, you know, completely ignoring the sequel trilogy and just making what Dave Filoni is probably trying to do, I hope, which is the, the real sequel trilogy. 
which is going to take place, you know, the first thing that's going to be after Return of the Jedi, which is the next movie that he's doing. So that's what I think is going to be like the real sequel trilogy, to be honest. We're just like two years away from it. So, or maybe even more. That's what's kind of upsetting. But I think it's going to be great. I mean, like, I really do see these. It sounds weird. So I saw, you know, The Force Awakens and stuff. The Force Awakens until The Rise of Skywalker is more like a New Hope era. Where everyone is, like, hopeful, but they're skeptical. They don't know what's going on. After The Rise of Skywalker is, like, The Empire Strikes Back. The Empire won. All hope is kind of lost. Everyone's sort of defeated. No one cares. Return of the Jedi is when the movies start coming out. Not the Ray movie. But, yeah, I bet you there probably will even be some cool stuff in the Ray movie because they know they have to do something good and they can't just like willy-nilly by the seat of their pants bullshit. But I'm talking about the Mando movie. I'm talking about the Luke movie, which is going to be Dave Filoni's movie. I think all that is going to be like Return of the Jedi era. I think 2025, 2026 and onwards, Star Wars will start to see a bit of a redemption arc. But until then, man, it's, it's, it's quite dead. No one really cares. So I, I, I'm just, you know, we got to ride this period out. And in that time, you guys are going to have Vader Episode 2 and Vader Episode 3. And I, I say this because it's going to be monumental. It's going to be something that will be uh, absolutely... It's a big undertaking, but it's going to, it's going, it's, it's going to be everything you want. It's going to move you to tears. It's going to move you to excitement. It, you're, trust me, there's a reason, a lot of good things take time, man. There's a reason that it's, it's, it's taking so much time. It's going to be, it's going to be my, my freaking masterpiece. It's going to be my, like, this is. This is like my life's work. <laughs> I can die after this, you know. No, not really. But um, yeah. It's gonna be next level. It's gonna be like something truly that is like a gift to every single fan, including myself. Especially after all this garbage. I promise you. I promise you. I will learn to bring Star Wars back from dying. And then I'm going to put them all together. That's going to be like one large movie, like an hour and a half long. Theory, I hope you're right. Yeah, you know, I mean, I can, I can pump up the movie as much as I want, but at the end of the day, you'll see. It's just going to take time. So that's okay. So in that time, you know, I'll take the abuse from people that are like, yo, you've been dragging this on for so long. Or people being like, no, Star Wars is dead. Just trust me, man. If you've ever, if you ever trusted me and you see me for who I am behind the YouTube bullshit, behind the, the, the screen and see me as, as who I am, how I, how I speak, how I move, how I do things over the last almost eight years, then you'll have a good, uh, you'll have a good consensus of, uh, my man of my word, man. I'm going to bring you guys something that's that even Lucasfilm themselves are going to be like, oh, okay. The first one is nothing. And even episode two is nothing. To be honest, episode two is like, again, exposition leading. I mean, there's it's, it's cool. But it, it's exposition leading to the third one. The third one is is the final act. The trilogy, and um, yeah, the reason I'm doing it as a trilogy is because it's so expensive. So I need you guys' support. I really need it. I really, really need it. So whether that's through watching videos or super chats or memberships or buying sabers, 
for buying merch. You know, it, it's, uh, I really need your help. I want to make this happen. It's just very difficult to do it as one person. It's a million dollar project, you know, not including the first one. So working very hard. I'm doing my best. At least if I fail, then I know that I did my best. And I, I didn't half-ass anything. And, you know. So. Front door open. Bro, I'm gaining so much weight just from eating these nuts. <laughs> you see, there is an element commanding that force. An element simply cannot handle the unstructured attack profile of a Mark Saber. That sentry ship. You were able to tell from that those were Illumin ships? Learn about art, Captain. When you understand the species art, you understand that species. Bridge, bring us to flank speed. Prepare to join the attack. What's up, Kyber Sith? Thanks, man. Sounds like the Abra Sky System. Oh, Everest Productions. I hope you enjoyed the Plagueis clip. I am currently working on a full movie. Voiceovers will play roles. Oh, voice actors will play roles. This is my third Star Wars movie after revitalized Star Wars. Oops. Awesome, man. Yeah, I know. I really enjoyed it. Uh, if you want me to do any sort of voices or anything, let me know, dude. You want me to play Plagueis or uh, Palpatine or something? I mean, hey, I, I would, you know, for free. Yeah, of course. I say for free because people always, people always hit me up. They're like, hey, you want me to do a voice in something? I'm like, oh, sure, maybe. And then it comes time to it. And they're like, okay, well, I charge $10,000 an hour. And I'm like, this is a fan film. Get the fuck out of here. What are you talking about? Not for Vader, just for like other little stuff. But I mean, I've paid, literally paid everybody that I've worked on, worked with. But there are some guys that are just really untalented. You know those guys that think they're like super talented, but they suck? They think they're the bee's knees, and then they, they like try to charge. It's like, no, I'm okay. I'll do it myself. Man, there's a whole book I could write on, like, the inside of having a YouTube channel and people that, like, try to hit you up and work with you and extort you and use you. I, I could I could make a whole... It's interesting. Family Guy Star Wars Trilogy is a fun watch. With the new team and tech, would you consider making Vader Episode 1 in the style of Episode... Yeah. Yeah, I would. It would just be a unnecessary cost. So it would have to come afterwards. But I would eventually, in order to like make it all seamless and then into one movie, yeah. And then that would have another premiere of its own, probably. Or we, we would all go to the theater and watch it and be like an hour and a half long or something. Not much. Hopefully these shekels help. I mean, everything helps, man. I appreciate it, bro. I appreciate it. You know, there's like, yeah, like, it, even a dollar, like, it's just, it adds up. Haven't you seen the movie A Bug's Life? You know, it helps, bro. It helps big time. I need your help. You guys are my only hope. System is the best. 
We cannot spare the manpower needed to pacify the planet. For now, perhaps. But only for now. Bridge, this is Grand Admiral Thrawn. Set course for the planet Merka. Merka, Admiral? The first piece of the puzzle. A creature indigenous to the planet. The second piece lies on a world called Wayland. May I ask what exactly this puzzle is? Aye, the only puzzle worth solving, of course. The complete, total and utter destruction of the Rebellion. It's been a while. It has indeed. And I'm afraid it will be longer still until the next time. I've come to say goodbye, Luke. No, you can't leave us, Ben. We need you. You don't need me, Luke. You are a Jedi, strong in the Force, but you must never relax your guard. The Emperor is gone, but the dark side is still powerful. Never forget that. I what up, Bex? What you up, J.K.? You face great dangers. Jar Jar is the key to all of them. But you will also find new allies my at part. times Thank and places both. where you expect them least. New allies? Who are they? I have lingered too long already, and can no longer postpone my journey from this life to what lies beyond. You too will they face the, used the same Jedi journey one model? day. Yeah. Yeah, I did Vader episode one in a, I rented out a theater in LA. Um, I also, yeah, I didn't charge any admission or anything like that. So it was just a completely free for everyone. I also didn't take any money from the popcorn or anything and the sodas, nothing. I let the theater have that. Um, that's it. Yeah. I loved you as a son, as a student, and as a friend. Until we meet again, may the Force be with you. See you later, Luke. <laughs> then I am alone, and the last of the Jedi. Not the last of the old Jedi, Luke. The first of the new. Ben's like, yeah, you ain't one of those, dude. Hey Theory, I have some old Star Wars books. Would love to give them to you. When is your next event for a meet and greet? Oh, that's nice of you. Uh, I also have a fan mailbox. It's Unit 710. It's on my Instagram. You can go check it out. I, I highlighted it. It's, uh... Yeah, so if you go, if you go to my Instagram, it's like literally right there. It says fan mail. And then there's... There's the address info. So <clears throat> I've yet to do an unboxing. That'd be nice of you, man. Thank you. Yeah, if there's anything you guys want to send me, just go ahead and send it to the fan mailbox. And I'll I'll open it up in a video. Got to go. If you're still alive in a few hours, I'll be back. Probably not. Have a good day, man. Theory, are you going to any of the new Star Wars, any of the Star Wars night that are going down next month at Disneyland, California? It's supposed to be lit after hours. I don't know yet. Maybe. I'd certainly like to. I'm over here, 3PO. Master Luke, I'm terribly sorry to disturb you. That's all right. I'm just missing Ben tonight. He was always very kind to me, and also to R2, of course. You might have just delivered his final lesson to me. Oh? Governments and entire planets are important, 3PO. But when you sift everything down, they're just made up of people. And a Jedi can't get so caught up in matters of galactic importance that it interferes with his concern for individual people. 
or for individual droids. Oh, I see, sir. Well, if you are indeed all right, I expect I should be on my way. Sure. 3PO, what made you come up here in the first place? Mistress Leia sent me. She said you were in some kind of distress. <laughs> Show off. I beg your pardon, sir? Leia's showing off her... I'm crazy you guys want the Plagueis book more than the Bane Trilogy. Cool. Nice. ...her new Jedi skills, proving even in the middle of the night she can pick up on my mood. Oh, shall I tell her you're all right then? I think sure. the 3PO model looks way better than anything else in here. It's really good. And tell her I love her. I'll deliver the message, sir. Almost looks like it's from the movies. Would have been so cool to see Luke on Coruscant. Your Highness, are you alright? I'm fine. Can I get you some more milk, Your Highness? Or something to eat? No, thank you. My stomach isn't really bothering me at the moment. It's... Well, you know, it's Luke. The same thing that's been bothering him for the past nine weeks. Has it been that long? You've been busy. I don't know, Winter. I really don't. Perhaps it's something to do with your pregnancy. Nine weeks ago would put it just about right. Yes, but it's also when Mon Mothma and Admiral Akbar were pushing to move the government seat to Coruscant. Also about the time we started getting reports of some mysterious tactical genius having taken over command of the Imperial fleet. I suppose you'll just have to wait until he's ready to talk to you. Perhaps Captain Solo will be able to draw him out when he returns. Maybe. Good night, Your Highness. I love fan projects like this, dude. You know the first Star Wars fan project I ever saw was Troops. Or is it Troopers? It was hilarious. You guys ever seen Troopers? We can finish this another day. It's, it's not 10 years old. It's like, I, it's over 20 years old. Easy. This was made in 1997, bro. 1997, these guys made this. <laughs> Imperial forces. What would they? I joined the Empire about six years ago. I can remember as a kid, you know, watching the holographic images and being excited about the new direction that the uh, galaxy was taking. So when I was old enough, I uh, went down to the local record. Keep in mind, this was before the prequels came out. Recruitment center, you know, and signed up. And I've been here at uh, Tatooine ever since. Most people would call this the ass end of space, but I like the small town feeling you get around here. I mean, we know everybody. Everybody. And I feel I can really make a difference here. We got a uh, routine stop here. We have a report of some stolen droids and, uh... We think these might be it. Excuse me. Excuse me. Uh, you want to come over here, please? Yeah, I'm talking to you. Uh, whose droid is this? Uh-huh, it's your cousin's. Is this your cousin? Is this your cousin? Are you his cousin? No? Okay, then who are you? Ah, oh, you're his friend. Well, Mr. Friend, would you uh, step over there for a moment, please? Okay, so the uh, droid belongs to your cousin. 
Now, if I go over to that sand crawler over there and ask to see your cousin, is he going to have a bill of sale for this? Okay. Well, what I'm going to do now, sir, is place you under imperial arrest so we can only help... Hey, am I talking to you? Am I talking to you? Then stay over there and shut your mouth. Now, if you move again, I'm uh, going to shoot you. No. Yeah, I understand. I got a wife and kids, too, but you don't see me out here stealing imperial droids, now, do you? Yeah, sure, you'll never do it again. He's making a run for it! That's funny you say that just as I say that. <laughs> hey, there goes the other one! I got him. <laughs> it's the best that we miss it. Okey-doke, uh, shut the camera off. Yeah, <laughs> shut it off. Shut it off. Well, what we had here was that these, uh, Jawas had stolen some Imperial property, and it unfortunately turned violent. These Jawas do this kind of stuff all the time, picking up, you know, stray droids and selling them off to the highest paid customers. Well, we didn't find the droids we were looking for, but we did find one that a kid had reported stolen. So he and his parents are going to come down to the detention center and uh, pick it up. Boy, I'll bet they'll be happy. Yep, that's what it's all about. We got a call to check out this domestic dispute. Now, supposedly the husband said something to their kid, and now the wife thinks that he's run off. You know, um, supposedly one of them is intoxicated and one of them is injured. Now we're familiar with this couple. You know, this is not the first time we've been out here, so we're going to see if we can straighten this whole thing out. All right, all right. Well, what's the proper room? I've had it. Uh -huh. I've had it with him. Uh -huh. He keeps lying to Luke and me, and now Luke's run off uh -huh. and hasn't come back. That's ridiculous. Hey, I'll talk to you in a second. Right now, I'm talking okay, to your wife, okay, all right? Okay, okay. And Luke's probably dead now because of you. <laughs> now, Baru, just calm down. Calm down, okay? Now, do you want to be arrested? Well, if you keep this up, that's just what I'm going to have to do. You don't want that, do you? No. Okay, then. Now you're going to calm down? Okay, good. Why don't you start over? Well, yesterday, Luke comes in and says, I think these droids... No, no, no. Luke's your boy. My nephew. Uh -huh. Anyway, he says, I think these droids we bought might be stolen. Uh -huh. And then he says, well, I don't care. Uh -huh. Your only concern is to get them working. And Luke is like, I want to go to the academy. Uh -huh. And he says, well, I need you for the harvest this year. And then he starts talking about Obi-Wan and his father. I did not. Yes, you did. Ugh. Yes, you did. You're just lying. You're always lying to him. You never tell him the truth about him or his sister. Baru, shut up. No, I'm tired of oh. shutting up. You shut up. Well, you can both shut up or spend a night in the detention area, all right? All right? Now, look, what do you want to do now, Baru? Baru, what do you want to do now? I don't know. OK, now, see, that's wrong. What do you mean you don't know? You obviously have a problem, otherwise we wouldn't be I don't have a problem. <sighs> Baru, come here. Now look, do you see his ear, how it's cut like that? No, it didn't get that way by itself, did it? No. And you did that, didn't you? Yes, yes you did. Now, see, that tells me you have a problem. And when we get called in, then it becomes our problem. Yeah, but he was the one who started it. Now, now it. wait a second, Baru. I'm talking. I listen to you, now you listen to me. That's how this works, okay? Now, are you going to listen to me? Yes. Uh-huh. Sure you are. Now, how many times have we been out here, Baru? A lot, huh? We know the way by heart. And what did I tell you last time? I don't know. You don't know or you don't remember? I don't know. Baru, what do you want to do? I want you to arrest him. I can't arrest him. He hasn't done anything. If there's anybody I should be arresting, it should be you for assault. Baru, you have two choices here. And yelling and arresting him are not two of them. Now, you can stay here, or we can take you to an Imperial shelter. What do you want to do? Baru, what do you want to do? Do you want us to take you somewhere tonight? Huh? Do you? Yes. Okay. Now, do you need to get anything? Some clothes or something? Yes. You'll, you'll find Luke, won't you? Yeah, yeah. Luke's we'll find Luke. Luke's all right. Yeah. He's just working. Oh, man. No, but uh, see, the wife is under the delusion that their nephew ran away. Mm. Right? And, and she's blaming the husband for 
Ford. Mm -hmm. He's saying that the kid left early to fix a couple of condensers and that the stress of the past week has just, you know, gotten to him. Mm -hmm. So we're just going to separate him for the night because if we have to come out here again... Tell me something I don't know. I'm telling you. I'm ready to shoot them both. Yep, right there with you. Look, she's been under a lot of stress lately. Uh -huh. We lost a couple of our hired hands uh -huh. and... I don't know, just got carried away a little bit. Uh, yeah, I know, I know, I know. But right now, I think the best thing for both of you is to get some distance from each other for a couple yeah. of days. Yeah, I've been telling her, telling uh, her, and yeah, yeah, telling yeah, yeah. her she needs some help. Uh, I've been telling her right. for a long time. Now. Oh, this is probably the best thing for her right now. You know what I mean? Just leave it alone, let it be. Fine. Yeah. You should really have someone look at that ear. I'll be fine. Mm, okay. <laughs> Boom! Let it go! Should have seen this coming! Thermal detonator! Get back! Get back! Get back! Well, as you can see, things got a bit nasty here. I mean, it's unfortunate, but it was almost expected with these people. Well, you know, I mean, the farmers out here are having a bad season. Tempers are high, and it's just bad for everyone. The important thing now is that we find their nephew, uh, Duke, and make sure he's okay. Hey, did did she say they just bought some stolen droids or something? Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Damn shame. Damn shame. HK-888, check out possible what's his, what's disturbance in Mosisley Cantina. Uh, HK-888, roger that control. 1997. <laughs>I gotta go, uh, so you probably saw me typing some stuff. I gotta go handle some stuff for the site, and then I gotta contact my lawyer regarding some, uh, documents we need. So, I gotta bounce, but I love you guys. I hope you had fun. I will see you all in the next video. And, uh, yeah, tomorrow. I'll probably do a live stream tonight, too, somewhere. Uh, come back to ask about the P.O. Box to send things, and I see one of my all-time favorites. Trooper. Made long ago. It looked great. Yeah, this was, I remember I was seven years old when I saw this. Love you guys. Have a great day. You know, when I saw this, there was no YouTube. So this was like a file that was on the internet. And you would you download it and you would watch it. Anyways. Love you guys.